Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Thursday. We got five matchups on this MLB slate today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. We just hit 20.3K subs yesterday. Working our way to 20.4K. So uh, keep up the good work, guys. Uh, check out all my betting links in the description below. Great promo, especially with DraftKings. Bet five, get 150 in bonus bets. So go ahead and take advantage of that, guys, in the description below, along with all my other good boosts and promos as well. So, uh, so yeah, take advantage of that. Light slate today, guys, just the five matchups. Nice to have a light day because baseball, it's been tough, tough every day. A lot of matchups. So nice to have a nice little cool down spot here. Just five matchups, starting with the Los Angeles Angels versus the Tampa Bay Rays. Rays opening up as home favorites at minus 165. The Angels plus 130 with the over under at eight and a half. Angels coming into this matchup nine and nine. The Rays 10 and nine. Pitching for the Angels is Griffin Canning with an ERA of 9.88. Pitching for the Rays is Ryan Pepiat with an ERA of 5.40. Canning, his last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up six runs at six strikeouts. Pepiot, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up four runs, had six strikeouts. Yeah, Canning's been very bad on the mound. He's given up 15 runs in his last three starts. Pepiot's given up 10. Neither pitcher pitching very well. Um, Angels coming off a Tampa Bay win. They're 2-1 and one in the last three in this series so far against the Rays. Uh, LA, they are seven and three on the road. The overs hit in six of their last seven on the road against Tampa Bay. Could be a nice over day with both pitchers giving up a lot of runs. And uh, yeah, Angels have been, you know, they've been the better team in this series, I'm winning a close one yesterday. I don't like either pitcher on the mound. I think the over is probably the better play here in this matchup. But I think I'll take a shot with the Angels plus one and a half on the road with both pitchers um, giving up a lot of runs. Next matchup, we've got the Cleveland Guardians versus the Boston Red Sox. Boston opening up as home favorites at minus 120. Cleveland plus 100 with the over-under at 9. Cleveland coming into this matchup 12-6. Boston 10-9. Pitching for the Guardians is Carlos Carrasco with an ERA of 3.55. Pitching for Boston is Brennan Bernardino with an ERA of 1.69. Carrasco, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up one run, had two strikeouts. Uh, Bernardino, his last start, he pitched one inning, gave up zero runs, had two strikeouts. I think he hasn't pitched this season. I think these are stats from last season. Uh, last season, he was only pitching one inning anyway, so uh, we'll see how much he pitches today. Uh, Cleveland. Yeah, disappointing game yesterday, getting shut out by Boston 2-0. Looked really good in the prior two games against Boston. Um, but hey, that's really just how baseball goes. <laughs> Sometimes teams just can't hit some days. That's how it is. Cleveland is 4-1 against Boston. 6-1 on the road here. Um, so pretty much when Cleveland's been getting some runs and hitting, they've been beating Boston. So yesterday they just couldn't hit, so therefore they couldn't beat Boston here. And uh, I think they were a good dog today. The unders hit in five of their last seven on the road. Maybe the under could be a play. Two out of the last three have hit the under. But uh, I think I'm going to take a shot with the Guardians plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Miami Marlins versus the Chicago Cubs. Cubs opening up as home favorites at minus 160. The Marlins plus 130 with the over under at eight. Marlins coming into this matchup four and 15. The Cubs 11 and 7. Pitching for the Marlins is AJ Puck with an ERA of 5.91. Pitching for the Cubs is Jamison Tylon with an ERA of 0. Puck, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up one run, had two strikeouts. Tylon looks like he's making his first start of the season here for the Cubs. Um, had some good starts on the mound last season, was pretty solid. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had three strikeouts. Miami coming off a Giants loss. Cubs coming off an Arizona win. Finished that series pretty pretty strong, winning two out of the three. Uh, Miami four and two against the Cubs. I know the Cubs are missing some people here. 
I'm, I'm sorry, not the Cubs. Miami missing some people, especially a Jake Berger, one of their be- one of their better hitters. Um, yeah, Cubs eight and one at home where they've been playing very well. The unders hit a nine of their last thirteen against Miami. Maybe the under could be a play, but uh, I like the Cubs playing well. Kylon getting his first start. We'll see how he looks today. I think he can be solid. I'll take the Cubs at home in this one. Next matchup, we've got the Arizona Diamondbacks versus the San Francisco Giants. Giants opening up as home favorites at minus 160. Arizona plus 130 with the over under at 8. Arizona coming into this matchup 9 and 10. The Giants 8 and 11. Pitching for Arizona is Ryan Nelson with an ERA of 5.27. Pitching for the Giants is Logan Webb with an ERA of 3.80. Nelson, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, had four strikeouts. Webb, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up one run, had four strikeouts. Arizona coming off a Cubs loss. Giants coming off a Marlins win. Uh, Arizona, the unders hit in each of their last five games on the road against the Giants. So maybe the under could be a play today. Um, I don't know, not much of a pitching advantage. I'd say it's pretty even. Both pitchers coming off one-run games. And, um, yeah, Arizona getting bigger plus money on the road, which seems like a lot to me. And, um, yeah, I think they're decent underdogs today on a small slate. Pretty even pitching matchup. I'll take a shot with the D-backs plus one and a half on the road. On the last matchup, we got the Texas Rangers versus the Detroit Tigers. Uh... Looks like we got a pick em scenario. Both teams minus 110 with the over under at 8.5. Rangers coming into this matchup 10 and 9. Detroit 10 and 8. Uh, pitching, I'm seeing pitching for the Rangers. It could possibly be uh, Jake, or no, Jack later. Uh, so he'll be making his first start for the Rangers. I don't have any stats on him. Uh, and then pitching for the Tigers is Kenta Maeda with an ERA of six. Uh, Maeda, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, had five strikeouts, coming off a good start on the mound, but his prior two, he gave up three and six runs here. Uh, Rangers beat Detroit yesterday, five to four. They're, uh, yeah, they've won two out of the last three against Detroit in this series so far. Uh, the Rangers 4-2 and two against Detroit. The Unders hit in four of their last six on the road against Detroit. Maybe the Under could be a play today. Uh, we'll see how the pitching is for the Rangers. I feel like it'll be a bullpen kind of game today. Uh, in a pick'em scenario, though, not really in love with Kenta Maeda. And um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to take a shot with the Rangers in a pick'em scenario. They've looked good in this series. I'll take a shot with the Rangers money line in this one on the road. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Thursday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Friday. Have a good one.